Today we're standing in uh, what most would uh, term foul weather. We had our groundbreaking in foul weather. And, and I think it's really uh, illustrative of the service capacity that we are uh, gonna experience here at uh, OAJ. We'll be able to land and launch flights in uh, inclement weather. We'll be able to accept larger uh, passenger airlines as well as uh, freight and, and package delivery. Uh, immediately following this, we will have a, a guided tour and refreshments will be on the third deck. So again, I want to say uh, welcome and ask Mr. Chris White. Thank you, David. Good morning uh, and welcome to your Albert JLS Airport. I'd like to extend a special welcome to our Board of County Commissioners, Chairman Wright, Vice Chairman Knapp, Commissioners Royce Bennett, Paul Buchanan, Mark Price, Representatives uh, Phil Shepard, and George Cleveland. Uh, also, I'd like to uh, welcome the Airport Advisory Board, uh, our Chairman Steve Epley, uh, Vice Chairman and Garland Toon, members Pat Farmer, and um, so, <laughs> And Mike Loudermilk, the uh, and as well as our state aviation director Bobby Walston, who came down here from Raleigh, as well as our partners from Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune and Marine Corps Air Station New River. Today is about teamwork and what we collectively can accomplish. This event marks the conclusion of nearly ten years of work started by my predecessor Jerry Vickers, who has joined us today as well. Without that hard work and dedication of all of our partners, supporters, and friends, we wouldn't be here today celebrating this tall accomplishment. We would like to thank the legislature and the FAA for helping provide the resources necessary to communities across the state to help grow the economy. Daniels and Daniels, RSNH, and the FAA team of installers who drew the plans and assembled the parts. Finally, we'd like to welcome our newest members of the team RVA, who will help, help keep OHA safe and running like clockwork. This building is much more than two and a half million pounds of reinforced concrete and steel. It represents the future of aviation on Slope County. I'd like to welcome uh, also our frequent flyer, Mr. Ch or Chairman Jack Wright, to say a few words. Thank you. Can you hear me okay? It's kind of hard to hear with uh, service going on over there with the jets. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody again to the ceremony. Thank you all for coming. Um, rain, it had rained a lot this morning and I can tell you it's overcast, but it's not going to dampen our dedication. We're going to have a dedication just like it was the sun was shining. This is a very bright day for Onslow County with what you see right behind me here. Thank you to the Airport Advisory Board. Um, I would like the Advisory Board to please stand up and let people know who you are. Thank you for coming this morning. These are the folks, these are the folks that made the control tower happen. I'd also like to thank uh, Ms. Sander Fountain, uh, Harry Brown, Bill Shepard, George Cleveland for helping get Department of Transportation money through to build this with the funds that we had. Very, very little uh, local property tax money was involved in this. 
the airport is an enterprise fund it's self-sustaining I remember some years back uh, Paul was on the board uh, Paul Buchanan and at one time this airport almost turned into a general aviation we were losing the commercial jets and a lot happened and I'd, I'd like to uh, recognize uh, Chris White our airport director for his hard work in making this happen and also the airport director before him and uh, he's here today uh, Mr. Gary Vickers Jerry, you hear some Jerry Vickers in the back. Jerry was instrumental in uh, helping push things along, and uh, as things evolved, you can see what we built here with the new terminal, and now uh, with the control tower, which is going to be a big economic boom for Onslow County because we'll be able to get more cargo in here. We'll be able to get more attention to uh, jet and passenger service, although that might not happen right away, but it's going to be down the road. Um, I'd like to thank one of our, uh, all of our commissioners for being in support of this uh, endeavor, but I'd like to thank uh, Commissioner Paul Buchanan for being, on, he's on the advisory board and he also brings information to us uh, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis also uh, at our commissioner meeting about the progress of the airport. Thank you, Paul, for doing that. I appreciate that. So with that being said, uh, looking forward to uh, getting uh, uh, the tour for the, for the tower, stick around, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, go from there. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, the Board of Commissioners, would you all stand up so people will know who you guys are? Vice Chairman Knapp, Commissioner Buchanan, Commissioner Bennett, Commissioner Price. Thank you guys for being here today in support of this. To introduce a representative Phil Shepard. He is uh, not only does he represent us very well, but he uh, he also is the chairman of the transportation uh, committee for the house. Thank you, Chris. And uh, someone has already said this is about teamwork. And uh, being in Raleigh, it just gives us an opportunity to help Onslow County and our constituents here. And I'm thankful for Chris and the airport advisory board, also Sandra Fountain, because early on they started talking with us about the need for their air traffic control tower here and it did put me in a good position to be a transportation chair that we saw that there was some money available some funds available and we uh, i want to let you all know it's not just about me and being in that position but also all of your representatives and your senator here we're always looking and trying to find funds and a way to help onslow county and economically and also through transportation infrastructure so when that came to us I was more than glad to be able to find some money that we could put in the budget on the transportation side to help. But with that being said and done, as I said earlier, it's all about teamwork, it's about working together, and I thank you for the opportunity of allowing me to be part of that team, and also Representative Cleveland and Senator Brown, because we're all working to do what we can for Onslow County, and this is a great day for Onslow County, and economically and personally for all of us because it's going to afford us more opportunities to fly in and out of here and we look forward to all the great things that are to come and so thank you again for allowing me to be here and congratulations senator brown asked me to pass along his regrets he's doing the work of our senator working with fema right now uh, talking about all the recovery efforts i'd like to introduce director bobby walston from the uh, North Carolina Department of Transportation Division of Aviation. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. What a great day to be in uh, Onslow County and to be here at this uh, wonderful airport. This is a very, very exciting day from my perspective. Uh, as Chris said, my name is Bobby Walston, and um, I have the privilege of uh, working with and involved in aviation across the state. So uh, I work for the Department of Transportation and I'm the, the uh, director of the Division of Aviation. So um, we take uh, the funds that are appropriated um, from you know, uh, Representative Shepard and other members, Representative Cleveland, and uh, we try to do the most we can, put the money to the best projects in the state. And behind me, you're looking at one of them, and uh, it represents a lot of things. Um, I'll tell you a few of the things that it does represent for this for this county and, and for this area. Um, 
represents increased safety. Aviation safety is everything. Uh, so it's it's a it's a it's a big big improvement in that area for this airport. You might be looking out here or come out here from time to time and not see an airplane, but a lot of things happens at airports that people don't see and don't know about. A lot of economic activities. Um, I hear what some people might think. Oh, that's a little bit aggravating the noise and not being able to hear. Uh, however, that's the sound of economic activity in your community. That's people moving around the state, moving around this country, and accessing the world through aviation. And uh, as I tell people, a lot of people often, you never know who's getting on or off those planes and what that, what that person is doing in your community. It also means, associated with that, increased business. And uh, business in and out of this area of the state and this community is really, really important, tied in both to civilian side as well as military. Um, this tower represents less delays because you've got uh, better control of the airspace around this airport as well as control on the airfield itself. Uh, it's a much safer and you get less delays, less separation is required. I would much rather be under the control of a controller when I'm flying into or out of an airport or taxiing around in, in uh, low visibility than just communicating on a radio to a common frequency among everyone talking and listening to everyone because as we know communication can break down and, and things can happen so I can't overemphasize the increased uh, safety side. Also there's people inside this thing that run this and so that represents jobs, additional jobs in the community, um, again all making benefit to this community. These people will work and live here and uh, probably spend some money here in the community. So with all that being said, uh, a lot of things that this tower represents, and um, I jokingly said now uh, you all have a lighthouse in Onslow County, so, but um, this state is really fortunate to have the support that we have. There are 72 airports across our state that are open to the public. They're public use, public, uh, publicly owned and operated and uh, provide an incredible economic impact to the state. $31 billion a year is generated at these airports. Again, uh, and, and most people would know that occurs a lot at uh, Charlotte, at Raleigh, Durham, and Greensboro, and it trickles down from there. But again, this airport's providing connectivity to those airports and other bigger markets in our country. And that's what it's all about, is connectivity and a system of airports. And so from the smallest airport on the Outer Banks of North Carolina to the busiest one in Charlotte, we, uh, we have tremendous access and, and uh, connectivity. Also with the airport is generated um, taxes. These aircraft that are based out here and um, again, the activity is out here, the concessions and things that are sold. There are revenues generated off that at the state and the local level that benefit uh, you all as well. So with the money that we take to put toward projects like this, we see a return anywhere from $10 to $20 to every $1 we invest into an airport. And that's factual and founded. So we really believe in what we're doing, believe that uh, again, if we can stay ahead of uh, the condition of these airports as well as progress them and develop them because we know we're growing and we know it's, uh, it's, it's supporting a lot of wonderful things that's happening in our state and in this community. So I'm really happy to be here, happy for this day and um, very impressed. It's not every day we get to uh, cut a ribbon and, and uh, kick off a, a brand new project as an air traffic control tower. And I'm really, really happy to see this, uh, this day come. It's been a beautiful project, uh, been on schedule and um, a lot of good work's been done. So. Chris, congratulations, and uh, the advisory board and commissioners and members, we really, really appreciate uh, all that you do to support this airport and this community. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. As Bobby mentioned, this is actually the 256th contract tower in the United States, federal contract tower. There are about five there's a little over 500 control towers at over 5,000 airports, so we're one of the lucky 10%. So please, uh, please join us uh, inside.
come take a tour. We've got, uh, it'll be partially self-guided, but also on the fifth floor, or excuse me, on the third floor, we have refreshments. If you'd like to come join us, and we'll take groups of, uh, you know, five to eight or so in the cab at a time and, and, and rotate through that there. It is an operational control tower, so please be mindful of that. Uh, and, uh, but, but you're welcome to, to speak to the controllers with us today. We have several, several controllers who can explain what they do and how they do it as well. So please join us. Thank you.